It's 10 trivia questions on the hit 80s movie Tron, as picked by Jordan Zeilinger and the crew at Wreck My Podcast. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be, and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show comes out every single day at some point throughout the day, sometimes early, sometimes a little later, like this episode. But if you like trivia, you're in the right place. Hit subscribe and never miss an episode. And if I do ever miss a day because I get busy with my daily schedule, I always put out two or three the next two or three days. So you can always catch up with a bunch of fun 10 to 15 minute trivia quizzes. If you are uh, brand new to the show as well, there's 700 episodes to go back and check out. I think you can go 300 back on the iTunes podcast app, Apple app, and then uh, there's another like 400 if you go over to the Libsyn page. And you can always Google search any topic and trivia with buds to see if I've done it like, oh, I don't know, U.S. President Trivia. Give it a Google. We've probably done it once or twice. And you can get your fix on whatever kind of trivia you're looking for. If you live in Southern California or anywhere in the world, I'd love to host some trivia for you. You can play weekly with me at about 14 places, Trivia and Bingo. Just go to TriviaWithBuds.com and click on Locations. If you live far from Southern California and you want me to come do a show at your big event, your big work function, your big bash, let me know. Reach out in an email, RyanBuds at Gmail dot com or click the contact form on my website. All this stuff is linked in the show notes so you don't have to memorize it. And today's episode is all about Tron. I've never seen the first Tron movie. I think I've seen parts of the newer one from 10 years ago or eight years ago or whenever that was, but I did not see the old one. And I don't know, it just doesn't really interest me too much. But my friend Jordan is a big fan and he runs a show called Wreck My Podcast and you should go check it out. It comes out every week, I believe. And Jordan and his friends, they do these roundtable discussions about all kinds of nostalgia and things from the 80s and 90s and 2000s. So if you like listening to stuff like that, go back and check out tons of episodes from Wreck My Podcast, and that'll be linked in the show notes as well. Stick around for the end of the episode. We do a question of the day where you have a chance to win a cool prize that I mail to you in the snail mail. You can also hear a trivia team name of the day and the answer to yesterday's question of the day. All right, we're going to jump into today's quiz on Tron 10 questions that I found on a website called funtrivia.com. Here we go. All right, here we go. These are all multiple choice questions on Tron. Question number one, which game is played in the beginning of the movie? Is it Pac-Man, Light Cycles, Light Toss, or Mario? Question number one, what game is played at the beginning of the movie, Pac-Man, Light Cycles, Light Toss, or Mario? Question number two, who is the character that we see for the first time when the unnamed man is playing the game? Question number two, who is the character that we see for the first time when the unnamed man is playing the game? Is that Yori, Tron, Commander Sark, or Flynn? Question number three. Who is the character who gets beamed into the system by the MCP? Is that Alan, Ed Dillinger, Laura, or Kevin Flynn? Question number three. Question number three. Number four on your list, what is the name of the company that Ed Dillinger is the senior executive of? Is it Ford, Encom, Microsoft, or GM? Ford, Encom, Microsoft, or GM? Question number five, why is it that Flynn wants to hack into the mainframe of the company? Is it to look cool, to get proof that his games were stolen, so he can get his job back, or for the heck of it? Question number six, what is the name of the program that Flynn uses to try and hack the system? Is it called Tron, Clue, C-L-U, Ram, or Yori? Those choices again, Tron, Clue, Ram, or Yori. Question number seven, who is it who helps Tron and Flynn get to the MCP? Is it Ram, no one, Sark, or Yori? Ram, no one, Sark, or Yori.
Question number eight, what does MCP stand for? Is it main computer part, master control program, most cunning part, or most cool program? Number eight, MCP, what does it stand for? Question number nine, what are the circular objects that all programs will be issued? Is that a Frisbee, an ID disc, a ball, or a pie? Question number nine, what are the circular objects that programs will be issued? Is it Frisbee, ID disc, ball, or pie? And question number 10, how does Tron defeat the MCP? He defeats Commander Sark. He doesn't defeat the MCP. He throws himself into the beam, or he throws his disc into the core of the MCP. Which one of those choices does he do? Those are all your questions for today's Tron Quiz. Ten questions in a row. We'll be right back in just a sound effect with the answers. All right, here are the answers to Tron Trivia. Hopefully Jordan and the crew at Wreck My Podcast nailed this episode. Number one, which game is played at the beginning of the movie? The answer was Light Cycles. Light Cycles. Question number two, who is the character that we see for the first time when the unnamed man is playing the game? That would be Commander Sark. Commander Sark. Number three, who is the character who gets beamed into the system by the MCP? Kevin Flynn. Kevin Flynn. Number four, what is the name of the company that Ed Dillinger is the senior executive of? It is called ENCOM, E-N-C-O-M. Question number five, why is it that Flynn wants to hack into the mainframe of the company? It's to get proof that his games were stolen. The second choice there. Number six, what is the name of the program that Flynn uses to try and hack the system? That would be Clue, C-L-U, one of my favorite board games. That's my only insight on this whole episode because I don't know what they're talking about. Number seven, who is it who helps Tron and Flynn get to the MCP? Yori. Yori. Number eight, what does MCP stand for? Master Control Program. MCP, Master Control Program. Number nine, what is the circular object that all programs will be issued? ID disc. ID disc. And number 10, how does Tron defeat the MCP? He throws his disc into the core of the MCP. Throws the disc into the core. Those are your 10 questions and answers. I hope you had fun playing along with this Disney-themed episode on Tron. You can find Wreck My Podcast at wreckmypodcast.com and give it a listen. If you like my show, if you like pop culture nostalgia, you will dig it. Okay? Question of the day time, and that's brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. What's the name of a garlic and olive oil sauce from either France or Spain? Tweet me your answer at RyanBuds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Michael Bloomberg, the new mayor of NYC after Giuliani. And your trivia team name of today is Chew Back That Thing Up. Chew Back That Thing Up. Nice Star Wars juvenile combo team name there reach funky monkey designs at fmdesignsinc.com and check out my friend randy tatum's new horror themed strategy game called bloody mess at facebook.com slash bloody mess the game thanks for listening to the show thanks for telling a friend about the show and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds cheers 